What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I know I just technically posted a video, but I filmed that like last week sometime, and I feel like I haven't filmed an unboxing video in forever. So, welcome back to me. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2017 July Disney Treasures Box with the theme of Tiny Town. Oh, wait. August, the 2017 August Disney Treasures Box. Okay. For some reason, in my mind, I thought this was a quarterly box, but I just realized that it's bi-monthly, so that makes sense. So April, June, August. Bam! If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. I'm not gonna lie, for two seconds as I was like lifting this box over here, I was like, oh man, I hated Looney Tunes. And I kind of like Tiny Tunes, but I didn't really. And then I was like, wait, that's not even what this is all about. So now I'm pretty excited about this. I'm hoping that this is like all the other ones featuring Tiny Town from Disneyland because I do enjoy Tiny Town. Here we go. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. The first item we have is our patch. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at how, look at that. It matches my shirt. This is a patch of Dot from A Bug's Life. Which is such a great movie, and I feel like kids these days, like, I feel like no one's ever watched it. They just know it because of Disneyland, but I really did love A Bug's Life. So there's the patch. I like that. And then we have our pin. Our pin is of... Is that little Gus? Is that little Gus Gus? Little Gus Gus? I think so, right? I believe so. That's what I'm going to go with. Now we're going to open up our box, and bam! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is our spoiler card. We won't look at that. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna do this one first because this one's cool, but not as cool as the other ones. I don't think. The first item we have, well, not our first item, but our first figure that we got is our Dorbs Ride. Rides. Dorbs Rides. This is from It's a Small World, which when I was younger was one of my favorite rides, and as an adult, I don't understand it. It's very long. It's it's very old looking, which is part of it. I don't mean to talk crap about it. I'm sorry. I know I offended people when I just said that. I really did love that ride when I was little. I thought it was one of the coolest rides ever, but I have gone back on it as an adult, and I'm like, mm, it's good, but it's real long. So if you need a nap, Good ride to go on, especially if you have kids that like music and stuff. So we have It's a Small World, Mexico and Holland with a small world boat. <laughs> the figures that they've been giving us lately in all of the Funko Cloud boxes have been a little bit obscure, which some people really enjoy, so I'm not going to knock on it. Um, I'm not going to take this out of the box. It's just, it, it is what it is right there. Yeah, Mexico and Holland riding one of the It's a Small World boats. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that into that. It, it's okay though, it's just, uh, you know. We got a sticker, and then we got one of our tin can mystery things. I love these, I just found my Toy Story one that I love. Um, let's go ahead and open this one up. What does it look like? Pinocchio? This is Pinocchio's workshop, isn't it? No? Not Pinocchio's workshop, but, um, what's his name? Giuseppe's workshop? Oh, I'm pretty sure this is a Pinocchio thing, right? I'm assuming everyone got the same one. I don't know why they go through all the trouble of, like, bagging it and stuff. Oh, it's Jiminy Cricket! Jiminy Cricket. I like Jiminy Cricket. You know what's funny? I think I might have learned more of my knowledge about some Disney things based off of Once Upon a Time rather than actually watching some of these movies because when I was a little kid there were certain Disney movies that I just didn't I didn't like for some reason I didn't like things that had like talking things that weren't real like like uh I don't know like you know animals that talk I was like, what? Animals don't talk. So I was one of those kids that was like, no, that's unrealistic that those animals in Bambi are just going to talk to each other. So, although I, I did like Charlotte's Web, though. I don't really know. 
I was just a weird kid, okay? I was just a weird kid. Anyways, I feel like this video is all over the place. Here's Jiminy Cricket. It's a mystery mini. That's what that is. Um, but I enjoy that. I like the tins that they come in. He's a little bit small, but that's okay. And then the last item that we got in the box is our Funko Pop, which came in good condition. Some bent up corners, but not too bad. We have a Funko Pop of Tinkerbell, but she's in this like flying pose with her little wand. She's kind of like floating. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the reflection of my camera. It looks like that. That's what it looks like. I actually like this pop a lot. See, and, and just like with um, this movie with Peter Pan, I did see Peter Pan when I was younger, but my favorite movie is Hook. I love Hook. And Hook made me like Peter Pan and all of that stuff. Like, I don't know if I fully liked Peter Pan as a kid. I, again, I was a weird child. I was a very weird child. I guess I'm really just not that into the old school Disney movies as much as I probably should be. All right, here we go. Let's do some personal recap. Still no wearable, which is I've heard from a lot of you guys that they're, we're not even planning on doing that. The next box's theme is Haunted forest what's in the haunted forest is just the haunted mansion oh that makes sense because it's for october so that's the theme next month here's our recap card let's go ahead and do this first thing we have is our tinkerbell funko pop we always give exclusive funko pops 15 dollars, so that might be going on line for more but we're gonna do that this dorbs ride ah, dorbs rides that is gonna get what 25 dollars I'm going to give this $25, but just because of what it's been built after, I don't think it's going to really go online for that much more than that. I actually think it might go online for $20. Should I give it $20? Okay, I'm going to minus $5 and just give it $20. I That might be low, but I think that would probably be the lowest that you can get it for. I don't see that going online for that much. This mystery mini, which is really cool. Mystery minis usually get $6, but because it's in this cold tin can, I'll give it 8 And it's an exclusive, so I'll give it eight fifty. Patch, we get give three dollars pin we give four dollars I don't I think that's Gus but I'm not quite sure and that is all of the items according to my price in this box is worth fifty dollars and fifty cents we paid thirty two dollars a box because I get the one year which means we got eighteen dollars and fifty cents extra value which is great for a thirty dollar box we're looking for about ten dollars extra value so we got eighteen fifty that's really good I do think I might have priced this a tad bit high. You might be able to take a dollar away, but I think everything else is pretty good. I'd be interested to wait a little bit and see how much this Dorbs Rides is going for because I really just don't think it's going to be going for that much, but maybe I'll be surprised. Who knows? Let's see. What do I think about this box? I actually like the patch and pin. I wish they would have done like a Bugs Life Funko Pop or something because I really like that movie a lot. I like the mission. My, my least favorite item was the Dorbs Rides. I, I'm not a fan of the Dorbs Rides and it sucks because that's like the bigger item in the box but it's just not like it's okay it's okay I just don't really like it that's all I like the Tinkerbell pop I like her pose and then I like the Jiminy Cricket mystery mini it's not really a mystery mini if it's not mystery but it's cool uh, if I had to rate this box I'd probably give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs there's something about this door rides that I'm just not a fan of and it's really making me not like the box as much as I should if you liked all the items, you could easily give it a five. You just have to like all the items because the value is there. I just, I don't know. I would have rather gotten two Funko Pops and then something different, like a lanyard or something, than get this Dorbs Rides just because it's, I'm just not that into it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? I think it's cool. I mean, I'm a Disneyland fan, so I'm enjoying their kind of, like, venture around Disneyland or Disney World or whatever it is that they're doing. I'm a fan of that. I really do enjoy it. Um, I hope they do one that then goes and ventures around California Adventure, because I like that park a little bit better. I do enjoy that park. You know what I would love? Can I just make a comment? And maybe, I mean, they've already planned this whole box out, but... I hope that they make a Funko Pop or even a Dorbs Rides of an old school thing from the old school light parade. I would absolutely die. 
That was, as a child, one of my fondest memories of Disneyland was watching the light parades, like the old school ones, though, not the new ones. The new one's cool too, but the old school ones that are just like so classic. That would be amazing. A Funko Pop or a George Rides, that would be a freaking amazing. So hopefully, I don't know, I don't know what section that would be represented in, but that would be super cool. I would dig it. Oh, but yeah, anyways, I'm sorry, I went on a tangent. Uh, let me know what you thought about it down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thing, get a subscribers page, which I don't know if it's coming up right now. We'll see. Be on the lookout for it, though. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to Anthony B. Anthony B, thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate all of the support. Anthony, you get the video shout out. I haven't done that in a really long time. I was like, whoa. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.